I come to you today with no makeup and a cold. So bear with me um, because it's not often I have an opportunity to make videos. So my husband is sick upstairs, so he's being quiet and no one else is home. So now's a good time. And I've been wanting to um, do a video on totally Tiffany stuff that I've been recently buying. And I got a new order in yesterday, so I haven't even opened it to pull everything out. So um, I'm going to show you, like for those of you who have Kiwi Lane, amazing. Um, they just have storage for everything. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we will look at the products that I bought that I got last week and then yesterday, like I say, I got another order in. Um, so let's take a look at what I got from Totally Tiffany. All right, be right back. Thanks. Okay, I'm back. Hey, peeps. All right, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Consider subscribing down below so you never miss an episode. If you are a return viewer, thank you for returning. Um, appreciate your support as well. So let's get into Totally Tiffany. For those of you who are not familiar with this, she um, was the creator of the scrap rack, which I do not own. It didn't, didn't seem to work for what I wanted, but it's super cool. So you could check it out. And um, I, oh, one thing I do wanna say, this is not sponsored, this is not paid, this is nothing. She, Totally Tiffany, doesn't even know who I am. I just love her products. Right now she's doing a get organized challenge and I think it's recorded so you could, even though the challenge I think is over or near the end, you could still go and check out her videos. She's got great videos. Um, so let's see, I'll show you what I own. Who got me started was my friend Linda. Shout out to you, Linda. I had seen Totally Tiffany stuff, like I have her cart and that kind of thing, but I didn't have any of her organization tools. I love this tote, it can be a shoulder bag. I didn't see it in the catalog, so I don't know if they have it anymore, but I love it. Um, and then it came with a bunch of organizers in it. Um, let's see what all came in this. And then there are a couple of paper holders that I don't have in here that came in this as well. But when you're gonna go to a crop or something, it's also got a Velcro front pocket I've never used but it has it. If you're gonna go to a crop or something, this is perfect. Um, you can throw your papers or whatever it is you're working on. Love it. I did start labeling the bags because all of her bags have a name, like a real name, like this is the Deborah bag. And so what it holds, and on the website, it shows you all the things they can be used for. Um, some people um, use her products even just for everyday storage. So this is great for holding like pens. If you're gonna go to a crop or something and you have some pens, um, bone folders, short tools, that kind of thing. Deborah bag, totally great for that. I'm not gonna go through and show you what each bag is can do, but it's nice Velcro, sturdy, pick it up. Like I say, a lot of people use it just for their everyday storage in their Ikea's or on their shelves and it works great for that too. This one, I don't think I could figure out the name of this one and I'm not 100% sure they have this particular one left um, or that they carry it anymore but I love it because what's inside each of these that helps it keep its shape. This one um, is kind of a frosty look. It's not clear like this one had a clear insert but it's a nice sturdy uh, plastic insert that's in there and that'll help keep your shape. But I mean, you could put all kinds of things in here. And then they have a pull handle. So it, it fit nice into that tote and then you just pull it up. Love that. This one is the Merrill bag. M Merrill, I guess, M-Y-U, I mean, M-Y-R-E-L. Um, again, this has got a insert but this is clear one so you can see they're just clear um really just to hold the bag i wouldn't say they're like super sturdy i wouldn't use these inserts as just a plain container i would always have it in something um, i have a totally tiffany cart um 
if my if my video doesn't get too long I'll uh, I'll uh, add that to it as well but this is the brandy bag so it's tall this one's great because it'll hold your rulers and taller things that you have so this is really nice that's the brandy bag and this one I believe is the Gale bag. What this one holds is, um, well I obviously you can put whatever you want in it, but this one fits um, sprays, you know the ink sprays and that type of thing fit in here really well. Again, these particular bags, my wonderful friend Linda got for me. And um, I think a couple years ago, and like I say, there are a couple of paper files that came with that too and I forgot to pull them out. Now let's see what I bought the other day. So this isn't my new order yet, but this is the lowest tote. I really need a better way to shoot this. This holds 12 by 12 containers <coughs> um, in it, so great, super sturdy. I can pick it up and, and it comes, I think, in three colors. I have my favorite color is purple. But let's see what I have in here. So this one has these uh, Kiwi Lane holders. So any of you that use Kiwi Lane, these are absolutely perfect for it. So this one has my, and they're called the Quick Kiwi Lane on the website. So this one has two pockets in it. You can see that my 12 inch borders fit in there. Let me find one that's got a double in it. I don't have two in all of them, but for instance here, you can see that I've got my 12 inch borders in this lower pocket. And then I've in this upper one, I've got Castra, Cascade Trails, which is more of the decorative uh, fun borders. So you can fit two of those in there. This is great. Um, my friend Shannon at my last uh, crop that I went to had this and I totally coveted it. And so I went on the search. Ah, get back in there. So this comes with, I believe, five pockets. You'd, I, you'd have to double check. Um, but you can buy extra ones like I did. Um, and you'll see this size in there because they have multiple sizes. So for instance, this one is a double pocket. It looks like they're six inches wide. So it's two pockets like that. So there's all kinds of pockets that you can get and they fit in these. These would also be great for your sticker sheets. You know, we all get a bunch of those sticker sheets that are, you know, they're about 12 inches high. This is a more sturdy uh, plastic. It's got a handle on it. Um, I went ahead and just labeled it. I think on the, yeah, on the end and on the front. This one, because I have Kiwi Lane that is like shaped for uh, the size for cards. Notice this one has three pockets. So these are the cards, so this, the shorter ones all fit in here with these three pockets. Several of those. And then here's one with the double pockets. So I've got a little bit larger of the, um, this one is nature and springtime, so accent pieces in here. So you can get, like I say, the pockets in a variety of sizes. And it comes with five or six, and they're all different sizes. I will try to look that up and put it on the video when I edit it so you know how many you actually get with it. Because I did buy um, quite a few extra so that I would make sure I had enough pockets. <clears throat> Next thing I bought is these... Um, folders for paper shoot fab files I think they're called fab files and this one while it doesn't look high enough for an eight and a half by eleven this is size for eight and a half by eleven you would just turn it sideways let me grab a sheet here sorry you know me I never know what I'm gonna say ahead of time um, it, so you can see it goes in like this and it also comes with files um, that actually hold the paper. So you can put the paper, if you want to keep your colors separate or whatever, 
it just goes in like that and then you can label the top and this I think it said holds like 80 sheets or something but I think it holds more than that and of course this is making it look like it's difficult to use. It's not. I'm just trying to do it on camera without having prepped. So, <coughs> excuse me. It comes with a spot to, um, a, you can mark what is in the container. Obviously, this can hold tons of things, but I did buy it for 8.5 by 11 when I go to crops. I can put a variety of paper colors in here and have it nice and sorted. This one is their 12 by 12. It also comes with uh, pockets. See how many, I'll just count them. One, two, three, four, yeah, five. So it comes with five in there. I think my order I just got, I think I ordered some more. All of the inserts you can order extra. So this is the 12 by 12. And again, these are all fitting nicely into that lowest tote so I can just pick it up. Then these are project folders, which are really cool. They're a little thin. The plastic is thinner than I expected, but the functionality is the same. So I'll see how, how well these wear. They have a little tab on the top too, if you want to put um, manufacturer or whatever, who, you know, who this, whose uh, kit this is. This one happens to be, um, excuse me, the Mambi Faith 12 by 12 kit. But what's nice is the front pocket holds the uh, 12 by 12. Then the back has three pockets. So here's a pocket that holds these long sticker sheets that we're all very familiar with. And then here's a pocket that's a little wider and one a little narrower. Um, this is great for like when you buy a kit and you have the embellishments, the die cuts, the all the things that match that it looks you know works great in here my only thing is this tab I'll be watching to see if it's sturdy you know it feels sturdy but it is thinner plastic um, so I will be watching to see you know how well that works the concept I love I love that I can keep my whole kit together all the things that match you know my embellishments and everything so that's pretty cool so I, I got an order of those, and I believe they're called um, project files, but when I edit the um, video, I'll put in what they are. And then here is my new order. Da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> so let's see, it's the first time I pulled it out. Is that everything? All right, oh, they're called collection keepers. All right, so I bought another set, and there are three. Looks like there's three in here. All right, so did I get two of them? Yes, so I ordered two collection keepers, which is what I just showed you. Um, keep all the pieces of your card. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> awesome. What is this? This is template storage box. So I got another Kiwi template storage box. They come like this. They're super easy to put together. Why don't I just do this one so you can see. They do not come pre-assembled. But again, super easy to put together. And while this one is called the Kiwi Lane, uh, obviously all kinds of things fit in here. The first thing that you want to do when you get uh, one is to fold on all of the You'll, you'll see all the scored marks where you fold along. So you're gonna... All right, let me just move this pile over here. Sorry. I'm gonna fold along each of these, making sure to even fold these little sides here. And once these are together, because this is the really sturdy plastic, they really stay well. You know, fold all of that. So anywhere you see a score mark for folding, just fold that. Fold that. All right. Then undo this. All you have to do is there's little 
slots right there and you push them in. And don't push them a little bit. You're gonna push them till you hear a little bit of a click because they're wider on the end and that's what keeps them. Ah. Seriously. This is making it look harder than it is. It really, <laughs> there we go. Um, but they're very sturdy once you get those clicked in. I've not had one um, come apart or fall apart. So I'm gonna do the same on this side. I'll go back after the fact so you aren't having to wait on me but basically that's all there is to it fold it hook them they all have a little tab that will hold it this does not come with any inserts it's just the uh, box I could have sworn that came with some inserts but this one didn't again um, I will confirm and put it in the in the video but super easy so a lot of their things uh, you just put together like that so let's see what else I got okay so we ditch this this is just another well it just says template storage box so Kiwi Lane template storage another one of those Denise buddy bag so this one, yes, it had three compartments. Uh, it looked very interesting. What I'll also do is put all these together and then um, show them to you as well. What's this one? Dawn Buddy Bag. Oh, so this is good for your, um, it's got four little containers, glue sticks or, um, why can't I think stickles or these look like Nuvo bottles? So that's good. The, uh, Barbara buddy bag. Are these the ones that fit? Yes. So I think I got three. The Barbara buddy bag fits the, uh, are made for the close to my heart ink pads. So these fit in there. Well, you can see them right there. So that's why I got this. When I go on a crop or something, I'm really excited to have that to take my ink pads in. So I think I bought three of those. Yeah, oh, I bought four. Katya Buddy Bag has three, one, two, no, it has four as well, four inner trays. They're individual, they're not hooked together, so you can pull them in and out. It's the Katya Bag, I think this one's fairly new based on what I was seeing. It's got other ink pads in here. This looks like ink pads from, um, uh, Stephanie Bernard. Well, I can't think of the name of her company. These look like Gina K. So this also appears to hold uh, ink as well. I think I'll probably use it for embellishments and different things when I'm going on a crop because, like I say, the other ink is what I'll use. Here is the Denise Buddy Bag. And Karen. This one looks like it has a little bit of a slant. Um, so I'm going to put these all together and put some stuff in there and then we'll uh, take a look at that. And this is magnetic storage die sheets. So five, uh, five by seven uh, magnetic sheets I got as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so that was my order. So let me put it all together and then I'll show it to you. All right, be back. Okay. I filled a few of the bags, so I wanted to show them to you. So here is the one that I was really excited about, the Barbara bag, and it has my close to my heart best ink pads ever in it. So 10 fit in one, so that would be why I bought four. Um, but they fit just perfectly, so I'm pretty excited about that. Again, that's the Barbara bag. This one is the Katya bag and it I just put in several things to show you 
it holds these punches so you could get if I put you could get eight punches in here if you wanted to put these punches in and take them for a crop um, it holds your um, enamel dots and embellishments really well in there that's another good item you can put and then I love uh, Queen and Company so Queen and Company their packs fit perfectly in there as well and you can use this let's say that you're using this not just for crops but you use it for your everyday use you can put these flaps up so that you don't have to undo them every time now if you put small things in there and you're going to take them somewhere that's what you want these flaps on the end for clearly punches aren't going to fall out or those but that's why some of the uh, buddy bags have the end flaps it will keep things from falling out so that is the katya bag i really like it i think i'm gonna order more i only got one of those this is the dawn bag what's cool about the dawn bag i didn't want to take out all the stuff that i have organized so i just put samples in but Notice it has two Velcro, Velcro strips, so I can hook it on the bottom, but if I have bottles that are a little taller, then I can Velcro it up here, and it gives you a little more room for a taller item. So I, I wish they did that more on, on more bags than just that, this. It's four little containers like this are on the inside. I just pulled some of my Nuvo stuff and put in here just for uh, showing you. I won't keep that in here. I'll just use this for going to a crop. So that is the Dawn bag. This one is the Gale bag, and it holds your sprays. I mean, obviously it holds lots of things, but I uh, put some sprays and stuff in here. So that's pretty cool. Gale bag, I think I'll probably get another Gale bag. This is the Shelly bag. It's made to hold washi tape, but sometimes I think it's at uh, Michael's where you can get these little ribbon things. They're like the size of washi tape. Um, I took these to the last crop, so I used it for that. So I've got ribbon in here, but it's, you know, washi tape fits in there as well. This is the Edna bag. Um, on the video, I called this the Merle bag, and the difference is Edna was created before Merle, and it doesn't have end, doesn't have the end flaps to keep things from falling out. So that's the only difference between Edna and Merle. Now you could carry um, Tim uh, Distress inks fit in here perfectly. If you have a lot and you have them labeled, they fit in here this way as well. Again, I didn't want to pull mine all out of where I store them, so just showing you how those fit in there. If you wanted to use this for everyday storage, um, then you can, if you, I can't talk, uh, we often will store ink upside down, so you could store it like this. I always put a spongy thing on the bottom, but lots of ways you can do it. Again, I'll only use this for when I go to a crop. Uh, so I'll probably just store them like that. I won't take my whole collection, but that is the Edna bag. This is the bag that I said I couldn't figure out the name. This bag came in the kit that my friend Linda got me. I just discovered discovered it is the Leanne bag. It's got the end flaps as well to, to, to keep things from coming out. But the reason that this one is not the clear inserts, it's the sturdier plastic I told you about, is it can hold punches and heavier things. It's just giving it a little more sturdy for heavier things. I just tossed a few things in here. My heat tool, uh, cropper thing, I don't remember what it's called now, and my crocodile, oh, crocodile, this is my corner puncher. So you can just put bigger tools or heavier things in this bag. And again, that's the Leanne bag, and it actually came in that kit that my friend Linda got me. This is the Denise bag. I ordered several of these, and they have. If you watch, the, if you go to um, Totally Pretty, their site has 
a bunch of videos on all of these products as well with some suggestions. Um, I just put different things that would fit. So some of my taller glues will fit in here. Um, cards that I already have made. So I thought, oh, what a great place to put cards that I already had made. Like if I want to keep, here's a bunch of birthday, here's a bunch of thank you. I could do that in here. Um, in the back, just to show you that some smaller stamp sets fit, as well as embossing folders. So this Denise bag can hold, um, hold a lot. I think this is going to be really handy when I go to crops. So that's Denise. And the last one to show you is the Karen bag. And this is the one that had the slant. I said it looks like it slanted. So... This one, uh, her video said, was created for card makers in mind, and she was putting all kinds of things in here. I probably wouldn't do use it the way that she uh, demoed it on her website, but things that do fit in here, um, if I want to take some dies and stuff with me, they'll fit in there. These are the five magnetic die sheets that I got. Um, the close to my heart um, stamps and stamp and die sets. These are larger. They're a lot wider than some of the other storage containers. So I was really happy to see that those fit in here. And the Karen bag is, I believe, was the five by seven. So you could put completed cards in here. You could put card stock if you're going to go to a crop and you're going to do something. So I'm definitely going to order some more Karen bags. Um, and figure out some other ways to to use it so those are the ones that I put together um, so thanks so much for stopping by this has got to be my favorite um, and please subscribe below so you never miss an episode and uh, happy crafting have a super blessed day I'll talk to you guys later bye